Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. Vince. Today we're talking about shifting in MMA. Now I recently did a video on shifting for boxing where it's pretty much throwing a punch and then taking a step into a switch stance. And a lot of people were asking about Dominic Cruz and TJ Dillashaw. So let's look at some ways that they utilize the shift or the bump. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at the shift that's used in boxing by Triple G, by Roberto Duran, by Bob Fitzsimmons. So what they do is they throw the right hand and then they let the momentum carry them forward so that they switch their stance. Throw a right hand, follow through. I got all my momentum loaded up for this hook to the body, hook to the head, whatever. You have different options from there. Now you can do a very similar movement or get to the same exact position with what they call a bump or maybe a quarter shift or a quarter hop. Now if I'm in this position, imagine the same way you would throw like a right hook we're gonna do that with our upper body, assisting with our head and shoulders, but we're just gonna hop and quarter turn mid-air. So both feet are gonna come off the ground for a second, and you'll notice my left foot hits the ground first and then my right. So just like I'm winding up and throwing a big hook, but without actually throwing that punch, I'm going here, and I'm right in that same exact position for the hook to the body, for the hook to the head, whatever it may be. I can do the same thing for the opposite side too, and it's like I'm throwing a left hook now. So if I throw that left hook, wind up, but don't actually throw it, my feet hop out and I quarter turn and then I got the right to the body and to the head. Now, that is used very often by Dominic Cruz. And you'll notice he assists a lot with his hands. He almost comes up in an arching motion and his head really dips out to the side as he does this. Uh, use your hands and head as a counterweight to the counterbalance of which direction are your feet going. If you're kind of keeping up tall when you're doing this, it's gonna slow you down and you're gonna be off balance. Um, by Staying low to the ground is what keeps you moving faster. If you're jumping up in the air, there's more hang time. It's going to slow you down. So try to keep your feet very low to the ground without sliding. Here. Here. And one great visualization to help understand this is I'm pretty much just replacing my feet with the opposite side. We call this a pendulum step. And you're just going to rotate and create a little bit of an angle as you do it. So my right foot's going to go with my left foot. And then I got this shot. My left foot's going to go where my right foot is. I'm back where I was. And I can do that again. Boom, and then I got that. So whether you call it a shift or a bump, um, the same thing can be done with kicks. In the previous one, we talked about throwing the right hand stepping forward. I can go with a knee strike. I can come up with a head kick, whatever it may be. So whether you're stepping or walking like this, or you're getting there by jumping and hopping, it's pretty much just a way to create angles. So you can practice on your own by just replacing your feet and doing this motion back and forth. Once you get comfortable here, you can experiment with how you move your hands where you put your head. I pretty much just like being over the support leg with my head is kind of like a good rule of thumb to understand balance, rhythm, uh, and placement. All right, guys, there you have it. So three fighters I want you to study, Lomachenko, TJ Dillashaw, and Dominic Cruz. That's your homework. Go study. Go watch some footage. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm Vince. Fight tips for the underdogs.